Hi everyone, welcome to Imaging Study. We have got a ton of requests about making videos on Doppler ultrasound. I have seen those comments and let's make some for you. Today we are going to see a case of secular aneurysm of superficial femoral artery. A 60 years old female patient came with right groin swelling with an ulcerated area over that. She had a recent history of coronary angiogram procedure. Let's see what we have got on ultrasound. Here you can see the high frequency superficial view of the right groin showing around cystic pulsatile area on the left image and on the right one there is a Pepsi sign or yin yang pattern of flow within this cystic lesion. So this cystic area is the aneurysmal dilatation of the superficial femoral artery. You can see the lumen shows an irregular hypoechoic thick area indicating mural thrombi. The subcutaneous layer is edematous and you can see some irregular heterogeneous hypoechoic area within this subcutaneous layer. The adjacent subcutaneous tissue soiling is due to inflammatory process and this heterogeneous area is the hematoma. Here you can see the flow is coming out from the superficial femoral artery. Here another view, you can see secular aneurysmal lesion is connected to the superficial femoral artery and a turbulent flow is noted forming yin yang pattern within the lesion. These are the mural thrombi. The subcutaneous tissue is edematous and you can see the adventitial wall here and some heterogeneous area adjacent to it indicating the peripheral hematoma. Now on pulse doppler you can see we have taken sample from the central part of the aneurysm at the junction between the blue and red color and you can see a to and fro flow on a spectral doppler. This is the bidirectional flow because the flow is having turbulent pattern here. Here is the low frequency curvilinear transducer view and you can easily see the aneurysmal dilatation with mural thrombi and it is connected to adjacent superficial femoral artery. Now let's see some pictures. Here you can see the approximate measurement of the secular aneurysm. It's around 4.6 into 3.5 centimeter. The lumen shows mural thrombi here. Here's the superficial view and you can see the aneurysmal dilatation with luminal mural thrombi and on the left you can see an irregular heterogeneously hypoechoic area seen adjacent to aneurysm indicating the perilational subcutaneous hematoma. Here is another glimpse of the hematoma. This is the aneurysm. On color doppler you can see on the right the Pepsi sign or yin yang pattern. Here is the orifice from the superficial femoral artery and you can see a turbulent flow within this secular aneurysm. Here is the curvilinear transducer view and you can see the communication between the superficial femoral artery and the aneurysmal lumen. Here is another yin yang pattern from the low frequency curvilinear transducer view. And these are the mural thrombi which is very common due to turbulent flow within the aneurysm. Here you can see the flow pattern of superficial femoral artery just at the junction. And here is the flow taken from the central part of the aneurysm showing to and fro pattern. So, in summary, a secular aneurysmal dilatation is noted at the proximal part of the superficial femoral artery with luminal irregular mural thrombi and visible turbulent flow. On color doppler, yin yang pattern is noted. To and fro flow is seen on pulse of doppler. Irregular heterogeneously hypoechoic areas are noted within the edematous subcutaneous layer adjacent to this secular aneurysm indicating hematoma. Now the take home message. An aneurysm never gets smaller so be careful about reporting the diameter on follow up. Try to check previous report and if you give the measurement smaller than the previous one then make sure any of you are mentioning a wrong measurement. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more if you want more videos on color doppler ultrasound. See you on the next one. Have a nice day.